Nasrawa State, lying in the north central geopolitical zone of the country, is one of the states created in 1996 by the military regime of late General Sani Abacha. With an estimated population of more than 3 million people, the state has many ethnic groups as Alago, Egon, and Gwendara, with Hausa common among the people. The state has a rich cultural heritage cutting across. The Egon people are indigenous to Nasrara state, one of the most populous tribes of the state. Though with the largest concentration in the present Nasrara Egon local government area, as their ancestral home, the Egon people are found in almost all the local government areas of the state and even beyond. A resilient race with high sense of pride and dignity. The Egon people, just like many tribes in the south of Sahara, has agriculture as the major preoccupation. Because of their commitment to accomplish set goals, the Egon people have excelled in almost all spheres of life, especially in the preservation of its rich cultural heritage. History indicates that the Egon people are among the Kwarorofa kingdom, with its ancestral traditional roots in Wukari in the present Tarawa state. The Egon people are known to boast of many cultural festivals, amongst which is the Egon Carnival. The 2022 Egon Carnival Tact Carnival for Peace and Development is an annual event organized by Egon youths, aimed at bringing together all sons and daughters of Egon land to reunite with one another and to showcase their cultural heritage to the world as well as provide avenue for peace, harmony and unity in Egon land. The program which brought together all sons and daughters of Egon from at home and abroad featured different activities to the admiration of the people, especially visitors. Signaling the commencement of the carnival, Young men and women adored in beautiful attires, marching in procession to the palace of the paramount ruler of the Egon nation, the Are Egon, for royal blessings. <laughs> Thereafter, they walked back to the ancestral playing ground where different communities displayed their dancing steps. Thank <laughs> you. 
Usually, children are not left out as they are encouraged to participate and be prepared to take over from the present generation. No wonder observers opened that the carnival had always brought together Egon youth and their friends across the country to exchange pleasantry, fraternize, establish new friendships, and for reunion with old friends. Diva is a, is a place where some friends, some brothers, those who are not even understanding their, their languages, those who we meet for some years. Today, as I came here, I was able to meet like 10 of them here. So I, I was very, very happy meeting them. So in this environment like this, you come, you will see those that you've been, you've been anxious to see, that you, you missed even their contact. You were not able to know where and how is their well-being. But for this carnival now makes us to come together and we were able to meet and share the, the love we have for each other bring our people together. As you're aware, we are a social cultural group, so we do not segregate against people of any age, religion, or gender. We are just a social, uh, social, uh, social cultural group that seeks to promote the Igon culture and to also, you know, create a synergy among other uh, cultural um, uh, groups. I, I've seen a friend who I've missed the contact with for quite a while now. He stays in Abuja, and by the grace of God, yesterday we met, and today we were also together in the morning. I just left him there, and I'm here, and I've seen a lot of faces that I've not seen for quite a while now, and it's, it's actually really nice. Well, I feel so happy, and I feel so fulfilled. Because I think for the past two years I've been missing the carnival. So my presence in this carnival right from yesterday to today makes me feel like the most happiest person on this earth. Because I love culture. I myself as a person. Culture is my pride. And I'm proud to say I'm a lovely daughter of Igon land. I am not an Igon man. But in fact, this Igon carnival is one of the carnival that bring people together, that bring all the, 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 the ethnic groups together, and uh, is a carnival that promotes unity, peace and development amongst the ethnic groups in the states. <laughs>
One unique thing about the Egan culture is the appearance of the masquerade, which only occur when an aged person passes on or during special events, such as the carnival. More so, that only old men and women can accompany the masquerade because of the spiritual belief that young ladies are forbidden from touching the masquerade. This masquerade is called Aishmo uh, Van Bin. And then it's a bed with a red felder. And uh, that felder, they doesn't come out just anyhow. They come out occasionally. When they are having an occasion like this one. Secondly, when they are celebrating, most especially they come out when there is a big celebration for a one nation. Successful. You know, it's a continual culture that exists in Ebona. We came in, we inherited, and we continue to keep it on as a traditional institution. Another interesting belief with the masquerade in the Egan traditions is seen where older women escort the masquerade, signifying being equated to their male counterparts because they also rendered assistance in fighting along the mall flux during the war. The shield, one, you know the shield, only in a one. They are warriors. They are the protectors. If there is war, we always overcome the war because of those ones that are fighting with the shield. And so there is no how you will overcome things without the shield. They will not believe. And that's why in any occasion, even if there will be a war, we know that we're going to conquer it. And that's what come up with the shield, the warriors. You know those women, it's not every woman that you see that will come into the occasion like this. Those women, traditionally, culturally, they are not men. Because a young, young lady like this one cannot touch this one. If she touch, she'll be buried. She will not give child, give birth again. So those ones, they declare them the men, but in the form of women. They also celebrate that on their own, they have their authority, they have their kingdom, they have their tradition in a gone nation. <laughs>
The Egon traditional delicacies were not left out of the show as it was an opportunity for some Egon sons and daughters to eat traditional food that they have been missing for a long time. The carnival also created an avenue for businessmen and women as they take advantage of the opportunity to market Egon traditional wares. Some of the youth said the program has given them the opportunity to reunite with their friends and families as well to learn more about their culture and tradition. Able to imbibe, to take that culture that our four parents left for us. There was no fight before. Within and outside, it is key that we learn and take lessons from our own parents. And I'm calling my brothers, big, small, high, low, to copy from our own parents, forefathers. What are those things that they did that kept us together or kept them together that we are not doing now? We should go back to our own history and ensure that that is taken so that we can live in peace within us and with our own neighbors. To ensure that we bring our Igon people from all worlds of life, including diaspora. We have members across the whole world. And this has brought our people who are living far away the states to come every Christmas period to celebrate the carnival. Of course, the carnival is to unite our people. The carnival is to bring about awareness of the Igon tradition. It's to also keep our tradition going. Wow, the program has given me a lot of opportunity because I met new friends, my old friends that we lost contact with them for over 10, 15 years. Because of this program, I met them at Nasra Egon and we interact. We had some fun that we missed for a couple of years that we couldn't meet together. Because my coming here, I learned a lot. There are some dishes that is of Egon extraction that I don't know. I've been in the city all along. I don't know about it. I know about it today. They, they call one Mbugu, whereby I have been hearing about it, I have never seen it, but today I have seen it with my eyes. So it's a, it's a nice opportunity for me to meet up with those dishes. Others at the event say the carnival has handed them the opportunity to appreciate and understand more about the Egan culture and tradition. They called on other tribes to provide such avenues for people to showcase their culture and to promote unity among the different ethnic groups. They called on other tribes to provide such avenues for people to showcase their culture and to promote unity among the different ethnic groups. It's for the community uh, is to look at and learn from what Egons are doing. You understand so that they should continue uh, bringing their people together because this carnival is bringing people together. The biggest cultural gathering in Egon land because this is not just for any specific clan. This is for the entire Egon nation. And uh, since we conceived this idea about 10 years ago, 
it has been one of the biggest gatherings on the sociocultural map of Nasarawa State. Um, I can say that we've been growing in leaps and bounds. Um, it's an opportunity for people to come home, to celebrate the rich culture of the Egon people, and to also make new friends, because uh, we usually invite other ethnic groups to come celebrate with us. So I think it's something that uh, we should continue to develop. Uh, hopefully, it will become something of uh, national reckoning in some few years to come. Whoa, whoa, whoa.